Hi, I'm Ross Bailey from Line 6 here from Music Street, and I'm going to show you through the Ajax Stomp Exit. So HX Stomp was designed to be part of a pedal board and it's an incredibly powerful tool to have on your pedal board uh, but people are finding it limited with three switches. Uh, you, you can program them to do a bunch of different things but you still only have three switches so you might need an external MIDI controller or, or extra expression switches uh, to do some of the stuff you want. So with Stomp XL uh, we expanded it to eight switches and you can cover a lot of ground. So running through the switches, uh, we've got up and down, uh, that's bank up and down, preset up and down, or snapshot up and down. Uh, a, B, C, D buttons, that's presets or snapshots, more snapshots shortly. Hit the mode button, and these become instant access. So any of the eight blocks can be assigned to any of these switches, uh, like a traditional pedal board. Uh, tap, tap on tuner on the end. The mode button also gives you access to something called, called pedal edit mode. So if you're in the middle of a gig uh, or a session and you're playing and you need to tweak that sound but you can't stop playing, what you can actually do is access any of the blocks that are active and uh, go into any of the parameters and control the parameters with your feet uh, and change them and actually save that preset as well. So that's a really cool feature. Ins and outs on the back. Volume control, and that's on a push-push button, so uh, it's nice and recessed, keeps out of the way, saves you knocking it. Expression pedal one and two on a single jack, so you can have a volume pedal, uh, warp, so on and so forth. Uh, send a return for your effects loop, and it's two mono or a stereo effects loop, uh, so you can have an external pedal and do four cable method if you wanted to, uh, and we'll cover four cable method shortly. In, out, uh, both stereo, both can be set to instrument or line. Uh, so you, if you want to use keyboards or have this as an insert uh, on a desk, for example, then you can do that too. Uh, headphone out, MIDI in and out, and it's a full-fledged MIDI controller. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get into a little bit of that too. USB for using with the editing software, firmware updates, and also using it as an audio interface as well. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty versatile unit. Something else you can do with the foot switches, we've incorporated our command center, which makes it even more powerful. And what command center does, it, it, it lets you can like completely program this how you want. So if, for example, you want three snapshots on the bottom, um, access to a specific preset there, and then two instant access stun boxes there, you can do that. If you want that button to send a MIDI signal to um, your, uh, sequencing software to start a drum loop or something then you can do that too. Um, so Command Center makes it a super powerful thing, more powerful than it already is. So let's cover snapshots. So what snapshots are, snapshots are like a preset within a preset. Okay. So your preset is your collection of gear. You've got eight blocks, that can be amps, it can be effects, it can be whatever you want. Uh, you can have multiple amps on uh, different paths and you can actually have two stereo paths if you fancy it. Um, and snapshots will turn multiple things on and off within that preset so you don't have to do the tap dance. Um, now you can do that by changing presets but with snapshots it's seamless so you get delay trails, you get reverb trails but you can actually go even further by not just turning things on and off you can actually change parameters so if you have an amp uh, that you love the sound of clean and dirty uh, then you can just have that one amp block in there and program it so each snapshot gradually increases that gain. Um, so a really cool feature. So let's have a listen to a few sounds. So for these examples I'm going to use one preset uh, and I'm going to use the snapshot feature. So within one preset I'm using four different snapshots and you'll hear it goes from clean to pretty gainy. I'm going to add even more gain and add an octaver and then I'm going to go completely the opposite direction and get all spacey and ambienty and stuff.
Okay, so let's run through how we would incorporate this into an existing rig, maybe with an amp and uh, some other pedals. So we've got a blank preset here. So I'm going to toggle to the view. Here's my signal path, right? So I'll just scroll through and I need to insert a couple of things before I start. So I go in and I want to insert an effects loop. Mono. Effects loop left. So this is where my four cable method comes in uh, if I'm using it with an amp and effects loop. So the guitar comes in there and this is the beautiful thing about this. You can actually see the signal path and it all makes sense really nicely. So guitar comes in. Um, I'm going to add a distortion pedal there. Just put the kinky boost in. Make sure that's off so I'm not getting any noise. I'm going to add another one because I like to live dangerously. And maybe a phaser. Cool. So we've got three effects. Guitar comes in, hits these three effects, and then here's an effects loop. Uh, so what's happening, that is then going to send to the front of the amp. Then if I take this, so guitar goes into here, into your input, and then we're going to send from there to the front of the amp. The amp effects loop send uh, comes then into the return mono because we need to come back into here because then I'm going to add reverb and I'm going to add delay because why not? So all anything in here is in your effects loop and then out your main out there goes to the effects loop return of the amp um, and that's it you're golden uh, a really cool feature with this is if you have an amp with a series effects loop uh, what you can actually do if I hit the action button take that to path B what's happening now is I've just created a parallel path uh, so that delay is out of the way um, so um, uh, I'm adding delay to the uh, to the sound rather than the sound getting delayed, which is something that uh, you kind of have to mess with, and it's all personal preference. Uh, you can still adjust the mix and stuff in uh, series, and that's absolutely fine too. So it's really as simple as that to set up to use uh, with your existing rig uh, in full cable method. And if I wanted my favorite overdrive pedal, for example. I could put a second loop in there, assign that to a switch, and assign it to a switch, I just go into the mode button, and if I want to turn that loop on and off with foot switch B, I hold my finger on foot switch B, press OK, and that's done. Same with the rest of them. I want to turn that off with that. All of these now just work as regular stone boxes. Simple as that. So as you can see, Stomp XL is super easy to set up, sounds incredible, and worthy of any pedal board. So thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon. For more information, check out musicstreet.co.uk, and we'll see you again. Cheers.